sport. It was a big day for athletes at Jefferson Community College yesterday. Rob Crone has the details. SUNY Jefferson entering a new era for its athletic program with the dedication of a new turf field. Decades of planning and dreaming came to fruition Thursday afternoon at Jefferson Community College with the ribbon cutting to open the new $4 million multi-purpose turf field facility on campus. State, county, and college officials along with local dignitaries were on hand for the event, christening a one-of-a-kind athletic complex for the region. I've been at a lot of athletic facilities. I've never seen anything that has that kind of a multi-purpose use to it. I mean, this is really, really unique to this area and this region. JCC President Dr. Daniel J. Dupy III says this project has been in the works since 2008, but a number of other priorities and financial hurdles, along with COVID-19, pushed the plan to the back burner for several years. But with the help of state and county officials, along with assistance from organizations within the college, the project was able to finally be completed after years of delays. We felt like we constantly ran into new barriers every time we tried to get this moving. So today is a huge weight lifted all of our, off all of our shoulders and, and we've really got this. Now we need to operationalize it and really learn how to, how to use this for our community and for our athletes. One of the driving forces behind getting the multi-purpose facility on campus was JCC Athletic Director Jeff Wiley, who's had a front row seat from conception of the project to completion, giving him a special appreciation for what it has taken to get to this point. Well, just it's exciting just working with the, the architects, the construction workers, just seeing it come build out of my office. It's been amazing. You know, it's everything that goes into it's for the student athletes. This is going to be a game changer for us for recruiting, for uh, all of our sports. For the coaches and the players having the opportunity to not only play but practice at this state of the art facility, this is something they are excited about and, as Jeff Wiley said, will be a game changer for Cannoneer Athletics. Just the amount of development that we can have out here, uh, you know, late into the fall, early uh, spring. Uh, we can have just have so many more practices, so much more availability uh, with the weather, being able to practice right here on campus. It's fantastic. I mean, the, the quality of the field here is just unbelievable. So it'll help us retain some of the local talent that maybe would have gone elsewhere for better facilities. and. Um, of course, uh, bringing in students from out of state and, of course, out of the country as well. Roland's women's team will be the first team to play on the turf, hosting SUNY Broom at high noon on Sunday. And that's a check on sports this Friday. I'm Rob Crone. Mel's in tonight at 6 o'clock, and he'll have our weekly look at trap scores from the Northern Tier Trap League, brought to you by Herringer's Contracting.